Hello and welcome to another Break for Assault video. I'm Lee Parnell recording from somewhere in the south of England and it's very much evening here but I'm joined over in the morning by my co-host Mike who is in the hills of Los Angeles. Good morning Lee. And good evening, good evening Mike. <laughs> and that's very much what the name of the show is today called Time of Day named after the rule set of course but it also seems appropriate given the time difference. Now, Mike is a regular guest, a regular guest writer on the blog, and he's been writing a series of articles on starter sets. And we sort of agreed that um, rather than going back and covering all the starter sets, which would be quite a monotonous task, we'll just cover all of them in a ranked video today. So we're going to do, go through, rank them all, go a nice bit of software, get them all on there, come up with our ranking system. And yeah, then hopefully everyone can write in the comments how awfully wrong we are and why there is actually merit to any of the British starter sets. Um, yeah, so I think I think that, I think that describes everything, Mike. Yeah, I, I missed anything? Yeah. No, so, I don't. I don't think so. I look forward to the intense hate from the British audience. Thankfully, I have an entire ocean to protect me. <laughs> so we're going to be starting with. Working eighteen twelve, uh, but you know it's a. <laughs> We have more guns than you do now. That the the times have they are changing. That is definitely true. Um, so you want to talk about the, we're not covering everything, are we? There's a few exceptions. I was going to let you cover what isn't isn't covered in this. Right. So uh, j just for the the quick overall view, we are starting with Fortress Europe, moving on to D-Day, Bagration, Bulge, Berlin, and then you know the the bigger starter boxes. Um, I understand. I know that Battlefront still sells the old like Churchill's King forces and that kind of stuff, but those aren't really appropriate starter forces anymore. So we're not going over those. Okay. Are there any appropriate British starters? Or am I, are we missing anything? Um, are we are we going to be covering the two player starter sets as well? Or is it just the one player big boxes? Oh no, we're we're absolutely also going over the two player starter sets. I know I normally ignore them for the sake of my articles because well everyone's written articles on hit the beach <laughs> but in this context and how we've i've kind of gone over the tiers i think it's more appropriate this time okay so i guess we have to start then with d-day seems our late war journey started with the d-day sets right. so it's gonna well, bring up by the magic our video software here um yes yeah, so talk us for it Okay, so actually we're starting with Fortress Europe because that's the first book that Battlefront has put out for Late War. Cool. So that was the start of Late War, Joe. You're absolutely right, yes. So the first one I have here is Fortress Europe Soviets. So inside this box we get six T-34s, uh, buildable as 76s or 85s, mm -hmm. five plastic T-70s, three plastic KV tanks, four SU-85s, and four Katusha rocket launchers. So, uh, I'm not a huge fan of these. Uh, I think the KV is definitely too old by the time if, we're actually talking late war. With the, if it's a KV-85, it might it might be working here, but these are very much the KV-76s, so yeah. Right, they don't have the armor, they don't have the guns. Could be used for um, flamethrower tanks, though. They could be used for flamethrower tanks. But unfortunately... Um, Six T-34s and some T-70s are also not quite going to cut it. The SU-85s, a little overpriced, but still worth it. And, you know, rare move, Battlefront actually gives you four Katushas. So you yes. can actually run them if you are insane enough. Uh, I mean, if you go run Katushas, you need to run four of them. And unfortunately, as we'll cover later, most of starters drop it down to two, which is not helpful. Right. Uh, you know what, Lee? I don't think we've gone over our tiers. So at the Let's top tier, we have buy two. Uh, under that, we have solid starters. Mm -hmm. We have flawed choices. Uh, we have existing collection boosters, and my favorite category: British starter boxes. <laughs> but we'll say was, later there is one exception to the British starter box that does actually there, rank higher. <laughs> <But> yes, there <laughs> is an exception. Right. So, uh, looking at the Fortress Europe Soviet box, I honestly can't see this any higher than flawed choice, but I'm leaning towards existing collection booster. I I would say so because I think you. But there's as we'll cover later, there are better starters. Um, this was very much for those who weren't around at the start of version version four and D, D Day. Um, Fortress Europe was very much a way of of starting off late war by basically saying, "Here's all the mid war kit that was just about viable in 1944." to get you guys going 
Um, it was only a Soviet starter and a British starter because the, America, the Americans and the Germans were literally the first D-Day releases. So they would get their own starters very quickly. Um, so, but the British and Germans just basically need something to get them going. Sorry, British and Soviets. So, yeah, I think this is very much a, at best, I'm not even going with floor toys. I think at best it's a collection booster. I think if you're a new player, this is not the starting point for a Soviet force. Uh, I am in strong agreement. Um, I bought two of these boxes when I was trying to start a Soviet army so pre-bagration <laughs> because I'm an idiot. It's a buy two. There we are. Thank you very much, guys. That's no, it. That's no, it. do not. Do not buy two. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go with that. Um, Okay, so next up is the British. Oh, sorry, uh, sorry. Uh, so oh, I, 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 I am in agreement. I think we do just jam this in existing collection boosters. Uh, if you need a few more T-34s, if you really want to spam out T-70s or, you know, get some KVs for flamethrower tanks, I do think this is probably the way to go. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Um, so British, British set next, I think. Yeah, uh, Fortress Europe British. Uh, we get four Sherman tanks, uh, one Firefly. We get three Plastic Stewards. We get three Churchills, uh, a Motor Platoon, three Universal Carriers, the Apex Predators, four 25 pounders, and four M10s. Which again is, is a is, is some starts we don't get a full set of M10s. It's quite hard to recover from. I mean, yeah, it's a it's a pretty well rounded. Set, I think, so one of the things that people quickly realise is, well, how can you ha what's the actual formation here? Because there's not enough Shermans for a Sherman formation. I believe this is because, gosh, I should have brought the Fort Stewart book to hand. The Stuart counters a compulsory choice. So it's probably a HQ or two HQ Shermans, a platoon of two Shermans with a Firefly, and then a platoon of Stuarts, and maybe two of Churchills, because I think some of them do mix the Churchills and Shermans in together. Uh, I think they, I think they got rid of that for, uh, for Fortress Europe for late war, but I'm 100 percent right. certain. Okay. Um. So yes, it's, um, in that case, it's probably just the, the Stuarts and the Shermans make up a very brittle formation. But um, yeah. That is generally the the fatal flaw in these battlefront boxes is they do make a formation, but they are incredibly brittle. It's a starting point, and it's something you can build upon, and. It's not a bad, I mean, so I'm going to say first thing, put the three Churchills aside. The rest of that is a fairly good foundation for a British starter set. You buy another box of Shermans so you can get a second platoon in there with no Firefly. And that'll give you a, a more steady formation. Because like I say, the Stuarts are pretty handy. They are scout and spearhead in late war, so they can give you that recce, they give you that recce and spearhead, which is always quite handy. A motor platoon... Not quite as good as a rifle platoon backup, but it is more appropriate if you're going to stick to historical theming to pair up with the with the, with the um, tanks. Of obviously with the integrated units, they did have rifles as well. Three universal carriers. Well, what can we say about the universal carrier apart from the fact it's going to go hunting things down with piets all the time and piets and fifty cows and just go around hunting marders and other things. Four twenty-five pounders, pretty solid. I do find a twenty-five pounders a little overcosted in late war. A little uh, overcosted. They demanded well, my arm and my leg for them the one time <laughs> I ran them. The problem they got is that when they, when you get to the bulge books and you put the sexton, the sexton's cheaper by two points. And it sort of makes twenty five pounder obsolete unless you're really trying to force it. And like I say, four plastic M tens. Well, the M ten C is a pretty much regular fixture in most people's armies. So. I'm going to say, I, I, I know when we were covering, so we said there's no good start British starter sets. And I, I said, well, what about the Fortress Europe one? He goes, and he didn't realise the future Fortress Europe ones existed. And he goes, uh, oh, actually, yeah, this is a good starter set. This is the one exception. We found <laughs> one the one exception. exception to the British starter box rule, Lee. It's a solid starter. It is a Even now, you could buy this box. Um, there's nothing wrong with the free churches, and they didn't really fit the rest of the force. But you could put them aside and use them for mid-war or something else, basically. And this is to say, this, I know a box of Shermans, that's a solid force right there. It's a very solid starter. Yeah, my, my only knock against this box is that the Churchills can't build Crocs or Avery's, because if you could do that, this would be by two e immediately. Absolutely, yeah. But unfortunately, because it's um the mid-war, it, it's a mid-war spirit, it doesn't come with the late-war bits and pieces. Um, 
that's not a re it's not really a you can still use those churches quite handily um if you go do a church or formation very useful they just can't do the, the late mark uh, make mark seven with the upper armor or the all the crocodile or the avery right, but so um i i think this is i think this is a solid starter absolutely Um, All right. So uh, next up, we have D-Day American. And uh, for those of you who pay attention to the blog, this is my first article is on this very box. I am a huge proponent of this box. You get five Shermans that you can build as 75s or 76s. You get three stewards. You get an armored rifle platoon with five half tracks. And you get four M10 tank destroyers. Mm -hmm. Now, this is all fantastic. Uh, more Shermans is more good. Uh, Stuarts are very good at swatting down the, the hordes of British and German armored cars you see today. Uh, anti-infantry as well. Very good anti-infantry vehicles. Uh, excellent. You know, rolling boxes of machine guns. Uh, armored rifle platoons are the American infantry formation to run. Because what's better than five bazookas, two machine guns? <laughs> bazookas. <laughs> Uh, it, it's it's adding half tracks with 30 cal and 50 cal machine guns on top of all of that. Mm -hmm. uh, the M10s are good for what they do. Uh, I'm a bigger proponent of the Hellcat, but I still think that this is our first uh, buy two. You get that, it gets you all the Shermans you want, and then you mm -hmm. can easily add a box of jumbos to upgrade this to a bulge American force by the extra bells and whistles get yourself some uh priests for good artillery yep. and you are just raring to go see I, i'm not i am not quite on a buy two on this I, it's definitely a solid starter i think i prefer pairing this up with a hit the beach or some other smaller box like i think i mean you could buy two and use all of it not a problem because like i say you have all the bits for starting a tank destroyer you know, if you get their um, M8s and M20s to go into there later, you've got the start of a uh, armored rifle platoon, you've got the start of tanks. But it's just quite a lot of stuff for two. For two. But you're not going to ever use all of it really in one in one battle. Um, but yeah, it's five was by two. I need more towards a size starter, but let's go by two for now because we haven't got a by two yet. So OK, well, we'll we'll, we'll readjust everything at the end. So uh, right back to British, we have the D-Day British uh, Desert Rat Squadron with five Cromwells, two Fireflies, four Plastic Stewards, three Churchill Crocodiles this time, uh, mm -hmm. a Paratrooper Platoon, three Universal Carriers, four 25-pounders, and only two M10s this time. It starts off so good, and the further you get down that list, the more we start questioning it. <laughs> Again... Uh, it yeah, sorry, go. Yeah, no, it's it's just I'm not a fan of the British para platoon. Right. They're too expensive. And it's just, They're hard to get across the board to fight people, which is what you want them to do. Yeah. And from my perspective, like leaning more to the historical side, it's just like why would you have the Paris mixed in with desert rats? It's just not really a historical matchup um that ever really occurs. It's it's they had a they had a hard plastic rifle you know rifle um sprue. Oh, they still showing the shit. I'm not sure we're gonna keep dropping the screen down as we're going through, oh. by the way. Was it? Not, really, not really really matters. We can still see our talking heads below it. Do, <laughs> uh, which uh, people got to ask people at this to point. See my smiling face. You want to see the face? I'm adorable. The <laughs> exactly, you are. You're very cuddly. Um, um but I think the Patrick platoon, like I say, we got a hard plastic rifle platoon that would have worked perfe perfectly serviceably and be more useful. You look at parachute platoon go, you really just wanted to try and get that soft plastic sold out, didn't you guys? I mean, it's the two. Sorry. Yeah, the, the, the two plastic M10s, because there's no way to buy two more M10s. You have to buy a box of four. You had to hunt down tanks blisters. It's the only way I could do it, do, of doing it, really. Or like set all World of Tanks these days, which is even worse because they're pre-assembled. I don't think the World of Tanks has gotten to the tank destroyers yet. So I don't think you can really? buy. I don't think right. you can buy M tents at the moment. I imagine I'll come. I'll come later then or something. But uh, eventually, I, but still, yeah. it's, I it's but paying now way too much money stuck. for them. You're yeah. paying ten ten dollars an individual tank. Yeah, 
which is not great. Like this is Battlefront and its worst behavior, where they they put in half a box of something, where you can't easily upgrade it to a full thing. You always end up with a wonk, a wonky number of tank destroyers now. Yeah, we'll see it later with Werber wins Oswins, and we'll see it with Katusha's. It's just that it's a really frustrating thing to encounter, and. I mean, but the, the Cromwells and the Firefly power up and the Stuarts, again, that's all solid. Putting the crocodiles in. Oh, I, I mean, yeah. To be fair, most most British players will, we, will be all over that. And it's a fair choice. And you can always use it as two Avries as well, which also works. It's just like, say, that the two M10s and the one paratroop platoon just knocks it down from being solid starter, probably down to being a, what's the other category? Uh, Flood's choice. Choice. I'll, I'll probably go for choice. It's not quite <clears throat> as bad as being right down the British starter set itself. I'm just saying, I'm not a fan of the Desert Rats unit because mm. you have all these fast Cromwells that are tactical 12, that they want to dash around, they want to get their side shots, and then you add a lumbering Firefly. Mm-hmm. So you either ruin your Firefly by trying to have it keep up with Cromwell's or you leave it behind out of command where it gets a penalty to hit and it weakens the entire platoon because now you just need to kill two Cromwell's and the whole formation and the whole unit runs off. Yeah. Cause, Cause the way this box is up, yeah, you, the platoons are two fire, two Cromwell's and one firefly and you get two of those basically. But um, yeah. So uh, yeah, no, that's a fair point. I think it does knock it down further. Probably, I mean, down like, I'll, I'll be generous and let you put it in existing collections booster because I know you love Cromwells and we'll keep it out of British starter box, even I, though I, that's where I think this belongs. I, I think I think it, it does work as an existing starter booster because um, it gives you all the bits. But yeah. All right. We'll, we'll, we'll go there because I like having a job at the site. Yeah, I'm, I'm really talking about really many I, I do love Cromwell's and Comets, but um, yeah. <laughs> All right. Because so I can see your can... logic on that being further down. Because again, like we're trying to convince new players that these are good boxes. And here is an incredibly easy to fall apart unit that takes a little bit of tact. Yeah. I cannot, I cannot recommend that box in good conscience. Knock, it, knock, it, down, knock, it, down, knock it down a British starter set. It's, it's fair. It's not, <laughs> it's not a great start, starter for a new player yet. All right. So moving on to DJ Germans, uh, the the German Panzer Kampfgruppen. Uh, we get what five Panzer fours, two Tigers, uh, Panzer Grand Platoon, three Stugs, three Nebs, and two eight eighty eight AA guns. Oh man, uh, it's not the Lee, best can German you think starter. of a tank that has just absolutely been useless the entire run of late war more than a Panzer four? Oh, I, I, so I'm, I'm a big advocate of the Panzer IV, but I am having to fight against the fact it is <laughs> it's not the optimum choice for the Germans, that's for sure. But I mean, I think the thing that bugs me about this army is all the little, again, little two two tank platoons, two Tigers, two 88s. Two 88s are not going to sit, you know, 25 Panda will take out one of them and then the other one runs. So that's not going to stick around. Two Tigers is a little bit. Um, more uh, back of sturdy, but even then, two tank platoons, even when the tigers, unless it's a king tiger where it's fearless two plus, it's um, yeah, not a great look. No, I mean, the Stugs are solid mm-hmm. front armor seven, AT 11, you leave them in the back, they shoot things, that all works great. Uh, the Panzer Grand Platoon. Obviously very nice. I would have preferred if they'd given us an armored Panzer Grand Platoon because mm-hmm. always have mechanized infantry as far as I'm concerned. Uh, they also didn't give us a recce option. No. Nope. We, we got a decent anti-tank unit in the 88s, but they're mm-hmm. only AT-14 because these are the anti-aircraft version. Uh, the NEBs, I'm generally against salvo template units, but... Uh, in the case of the Germans, where you do, you know, at least w- when you're using this kind of thing, you want to play a little more defensively. Having mm-hmm. the big salvo is nice. They also have smoke. Um, I'm thinking, and it's cheap. It's a cheap nine point unit as well. Which and the only other cheap, cheap nine point unit you get is wesps. So it's, right. Hmm? So I'm thinking, choice, but... 
I'm thinking maybe existing collections booster or our flawed choice on this one. I think I'm thinking it's a flaw. As a German player, as a starting German player, this is not especially a great place to start because I've always looked the little two tank units and the fact Panzer IVs are quite a hard thing to get used to. Well, you'll burn through them really quickly. Yeah, it's it's just like once you get to 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 bulge in Berlin where they become just unbelievably cheap, then n- now I'm getting behind Panzer IVs. But in the yeah. D Day books where they are far too many points because they are confident veteran and careful with stormtroopers yeah. they are just overcosted. so i think we put this in existing collections booster okay i say so again no pre renters just try to get those extra 288 to get a four gun battery which i think right. is i think there is a you know, giving fours isn't it everything yeah. comes in fours yeah that's again I, just just Bad at behavior from Battlefront. At least they're Tigers. You can buy a box of five Tigers. Is it fives or fours? They come in fours these days. Might be fours. That's a great question. I'm not sure. But even so, even if it's fours, that may that give you six Tigers, which means you've got a HQ and a couple. No. If it's, if it's fives, even better. Yeah. Uh, sticking with D-Days and the Germans, we have... Uh, I'm not going to say their names because uh, this is YouTube. Oh, the monetization but kicks in, yes. My notes have them as the... <laughs> Even eviler Germans fight me. Something Germans, yes. <laughs> yeah. So for so for for the black shirts, we'll say um, you get five Panthers, you get two Tigers, you get a Panzer Grand Platoon, you get two Pumas, you get six two fifty half tracks, and you get two eighty uh, eights again. But these times you get the tank hunter versions. Oh, these are these are the um yeah the low slung pack thirty eight yeah pack, yeah so, um, so these are the big AT seventeen guns. Mm-hmm. Again, uh, two two of them has its issues, but at least they are harder hitting in this case. And you you could probably throw them onto the old um, pack front car to dig them in. Um, so if you go to Gerd Panthers, SS Panthers are generally ones to go with because the points worked out better. Um, right, and and Panthers are a staple of German armies throughout, you know, all the books. If you get these, we're using them for multiple things, especially if you just paint the crews in a sort of generic, um, you know, sort of black uniforms without going too right. much into doing P dots and stuff on the for their um, specific camouflage. You get we get a Panzer Grand Platoon. You get five two fifty, so you can run them as a reconnaissance company. Mm-hmm. Because if I'm not mistaken, this is a short platoon, so there's only five stands. You take that six two fifty and you turn it into an OP. Yeah. Even though they don't actually give you any artillery to use that OP for. <laughs> yeah. Plastic wasps are out now, so that's at least something. Right, right. So, mm-hmm. but again, five Panthers, two Tigers, a short platoon of infantry with things. The Pumas. Well, you don't, you don't put the five centimeter gun on, you just put the two centimeter gun on and use them that way and save yourself a point because they're going to run away after. These things get your spearhead and then you hide them. You do not go anywhere near the enemy because being a two tank platoon, reluctant, it's even with the four plat, I think it's a four plus last tank the last, you no, know, for, for, for right. These things are not going to stick around on the, on the battlefield. They are going to do their spearhead and then they're going to hide. Uh, unfortunately, the better choice here would have been. The 250 slash nines for um, half tracks, which gives at least have three of them in, gives you a bit more rigidity on the battlefield, as it were. Absolutely. And they are physically smaller models, so they're easier to hide on a table. Uh, the Puma's a really honest, nice looking kit, but it's, it's so an amazing looking hard. kit. I just it's wish so there was more trash. It. Yep. It just suffers so much from being two tank platoon. I, I will say, um, I bought this box and I never built the Pumas. They just sat on the sprues for months and months and months. And then Berlin came out and the Niddle card came out. So I built exactly one mm-hmm. to be my HQ for, for uh, the, the Niddle formation. So I did, in fact, end up using a single Puma. Mm-hmm. I, mean, I think what we could do now is basically build up the second one as the Pack 40 version. And then, you know, we use it as late, the, the late, late, late war one in Berlin. We had the two centimeter and the Pack 40 armed one. Because because of that, that Puma sprue, as it builds about every variant ever built the Puma on one sprue. It's a really nice sprue. But yeah, it is a nice sprue. But I think like at best we can put this down as a flawed choice. It's a flawed choice. It's it's not a solid starter. It's 
you, if you've got this as a starting choice, you, it's going to take a little bit of work to get you because there are a few things down with it, but it's certainly a better choice than their um, other German starter. Right. Uh, so now we're moving over to the Eastern Front for the first time mm-hmm. uh, with, with Bagration Soviets. Uh, here, we, the Soviet box comes with four IS-2s, two IS-122s slash uh, 152s, mm-hmm. four SU-76s, three BA-64 armored cars, uh, four either 57 or 76 mil guns, and a Hero Shock Rifle Company. The short one, obviously. They, they're they not going to give you a giant blob of Soviet infantry. Mm-hmm. If I remember right, the IS... I'm just trying to think what's information for this force. Um, oh, it's 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 the ISs and the ISUs. Right, okay. Because they... Uh, they, they didn't even give you the infantry because the only infantry you can get in formation are the SMG guys. They gave the wrong infantry, that's it. I always remember that being one of the... If they put the SMGs in, they, you can start getting something like a proper formation out of this. Um, there's lots of good bits about it. There's no units that you can't build upon or anything like that. It's, it's all complete units, especially if you build, you know... I think they think... Is, so is that just you only get two ISUs in there, is it? Or is it four? Uh, no, I think it's... Uh, actually, you know, I think it is... Uh, four ISUs. And you can just build them with either one. They recommend twos. that you build two as 122s and two as 152s. I misread Don't my do notes. That. Don't is, do that. <laughs> it's, it's terrible. Yeah. But this is technically a heavy SP artillery regiment, I think, because right. the HQ is an IS tank, mm-hmm. is an IS-2, and then you have two two tank units of IS-2s or IS-152s. And you've got the other three and IS-2s in support. Okay. This is it's an awful start of it if you can do it, build the actual formation out of it. Right. <laughs> and, and your options for infantry are the SMG company, the hero SMG company, or the engineer sapper company. And those are all, all armed with SMGs. And so they didn't give you the right infantry. <laughs> uh, the BA-64s are pretty good yeah. for what, what they are, which is uh, spearhead. You do get the 57 or 76 guns. You build them as 76s, and then you can either call them artillery or you can call them uh, yeah. anti-tank guns, depending on uh, if you want to stick it in a formation or not. The best thing about those 76 millimeters is if you have them, you can unlock the card of um, the, the one that they struck the smoke bombardment and last for the first two turns. But you smoke, whatever it's called, and that's quite a useful card for the Soviets. It's your only smoke in Soviets, which is a fatal flaw in... <laughs> Soviet game design, in my humble opinion. Uh, this is... It's not oh, a full man. choice. I, I just think if you buy this, it's a really awful choice to start it. It's a really great way of building up a collection, though. I'm going to go with the collection, you know, build a collection. Because all these bits think... are really handy for building up a collection of Soviets. It's just awful it, as a starter is. set. <laughs> and if you don't split building the 122s and the 152s as 2 and 2, like Battlefront recommends for... God knows what reason. If you just build four of them as one kind, you can at least make that a support option. Yeah. Uh, but like Wait. all of this stuff is incredibly expensive. You have no meat in this box. Like mm-hmm. it, this is either an existing collection booster or I'm a little tempted to shove it in the British starter box category. <laughs> it's certainly not the strongest Soviet choice. I mean, they two of them, but... <laughs> I, I think the fact that they give you uh, full units and no halvesies saves us from British starter box. I think so. That's, that's, that, it, it gets it into that collector's choice thing there. Right. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and shove this with its uh, other Soviet comrade in existing collections boosters. Yeah. All right. So next up we have uh, Bagration Germans. We get uh, five Panzer 470s, uh, so Panzer Grand Platoon, Panzers. Uh, four 251 half tracks. Uh, two Werbel wins that you can also build as Ostwins, uh, three Hetzers, and two 88 AA guns again. And four 105s? No, no 105s. I thought, on your notes, you got four 105s so off the corner, that's what it's. I'm sorry, I'm looking at, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Um, yeah, it, it does. I don't know why my notes left off those 105s, so that's, that's my poor bookkeeping on, on that, but I can, I can see them in the picture. Yeah. Right away, my pet hate of this is the two Werber wins, because again, you're stuck with two Werber wins and can't and can't have no way of making a full platoon of Werber wins from there. Um, but you do get 
you know, enough half tracks for a proper pound square DF2, which is good. Right, um, right. Uh, it's, it's a shame that they're 251s and not 250s because I, I think reconnaissance is the infantry you actually want to run. Uh, more half tracks with machine guns is more good. Mm-hmm. True. Uh, the Hetzers are, are nice because you can build them as flame Hetzers, which is yeah. uh, how I've been running them until the Berlin book has just come out now where a lot of those formations have an individual. You can also just throw in some Hetzers. I love that about the like, butt group panzers. Butt group panzers has just a box dedicated to hetzers. So you can just shove those hetzers right in there. Yep. Right. Um, only two 88 AA guns is a, is a knock against it. Only two Ostwin slash Warble wins is a knock against it, even yeah. though you can build either or, which is nice. Uh, five Panzer 470s is also an awkward number. It's, I mean, it's a, a HQ in a platoon of four. You buy another box, you know, buy another box of them. It's probably a little bit too much in the Panzer 470 because they're not super cheap. No, um, they're, they're a bit expensive, which is the entire story of the German army in late war until yeah. you hit, you know, bulge. Bulge. But I'll tell you what, you pair us up with the Clash of Steel box and you've got the extra Panzer 470s in there and some Panthers and other stuff. It all helps. Um, it's, again, it's not an easy starter set to learn with because like i say a panzer 470 is not an easy tank to learn it's you know it's, it's cross it's gun is great it's armor is great it's cross is appalling it's got no real ability to assault all we can just do is just sit there and shoot other tanks right you so, don't have enough to mm-hmm. keep it busy what what is nice is though is one of your black box uh units is a armored panzer grand platoon so yeah. you can't you don't have to build to uh, actually, you, you can't. I was going to say, like, you, can, you don't have to build two two tank units, but the minimum yeah. in this book is is three. Yeah. So this really is a, a one HQ, uh, four 470s, and the infantry make up your other black box. Correct. Uh, oh, and then the Weber wins as, as a... As a, as a it is in formation, force. but there's also two of them in their front armor for three. So those things are... They're look, they're looking they will die to from... armored cars. <laughs> uh, the Hetzers aren't in formation, are they? The Hetzers are not in formation, this point, which okay. is why I'm generally a proponent of making them flamethrowers, because then you'll at least make things scared to run up to your 470s. I'm, I'm going to go with floor choice on this. I mean, uh, so a floor choice, all that, those, again, those two tank units and the 288s knocks it down to a collection. But I'm well, British. I'm tall on this one. It's got some good I, points. It's got some really bad points. Because... They, they they at least did make the formation viable. It's a viable formation. They, they did make it make it somewhat viable because most of the box does end up in the formation. You know, you, you have four units in formation. So I'm I'm willing to give it the 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 slight uh cheese ahead on into flawed choice. Yeah. Okay. Because again, you, you can just buy another um box of four seventies if you are really wanting to run Panzer four seventies. And you're you're okay. So rolling on to the last Bagration box, we have the Hungarians, <laughs> and I was blown away that Battlefront released this box. Well, I'm blown away. We've got a plastic Zerini. Yes, I mean that's. It seems like that's the whole justification worth for why there's a box. It's the only minor Axis ally that actually has can justify it. It's like um, Duncan was saying about the whole. All the Axis allies are treated equally, and it goes. But not you hungry, you're my favorite. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> um, I mean, he's not wrong. I, I mean, say, do we, yeah, run for the content. Sorry, yeah, it's just, um, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, just real quick on the other Axis allies, my heart bleeds for Finnish players because you just have awful metal and resin models and then you buy some German tanks and you, you hope that no one actually drives a bunch of Tiger tanks into your Panzerfaust platoon. Hey, Martin. T- Martin took fi- finished infantry to warfare and won and won warfare. So it's it's doable. It, it is doable, but I also drove uh, Kampfgruppe Hummel Tiger tanks into a platoon of of Finnish close defense, and I ran them all over. So your mileage may vary. Yeah. Uh, back to the Hungarians, though. Uh, the Hungarian assault gun battery has four Zerinis, three Stugs, three Hetzers, three Panthers. And four 105 guns. And those Zerini, Stugs, and Hetzers are all in formation because you, it's, a, it's a really weird formation, that sort of gun battery, because you can have 
all three assault guns in different proportions. However, there's also a really cool thing about it, which is that the, the third box can also be pack 40s. In fact, a pack 40 platoon, which is oh. quite handy. But not really get them in the box. But if you got, it would have um, been nice if they put them in the box. Yeah. Well, the 105s, yeah. Because I, I feel like the 105s are somewhat redundant when the Zerini, uh, when both the Zerinis and the Stugs can fire bombardments. Or oh, sorry, the Zerinis can fire bombardments. Right. I don't think. Uh, I don't think no, the it's Hungarians not, it's not get stews. option for stews. Correct. Yeah, I was just thinking about. It. So you can have the Zerinis sitting back, fire, you know, dropping bombardments, while the Stugs and Hetzers roll up and fire at close range. The Panthers then go for the assault once everything's. Bleed, has his ears bleeding from bombardments and fl- in close range HE fire. I still don't think you ever assault with Panthers with that side armor of five, but hey, uh, I will I will defer to, to your your wealth of experience in comparison to me. Uh, but, but assaulting when, when the assault going badly because you don't assault with Panthers. <laughs> well, well, yes, experience mainly. <laughs> um, if you really want to do Hungarians, it's a solid box. I think it's. I mean, you can fill out the entire formation because you get the HQ battery uh, of Platoon of Zarinis, a Platoon of Stugs, and a Platoon of Hetzers. Yeah. So this is actually the most solid formation you could possibly build. Mm-hmm. So if, you, if you're a Hungarian player, if you really want that, I, I see no reason to not put this in solid starter. Yeah, absolutely. I'd say the only thing, I'd, only thing it recounts against it is the 105s being somewhat redundant. They're not bad. It's just I'm not sure. I, you know, I think I probably prefer a platoon of infantry rather than more points in artillery. But ah, uh, but the Hungarian infantry is still all metal. Yeah, which is why it can't be in the in the box. Which is why it can't be in the box, right? So yeah. I'm going to go ahead and shove that into solid starter. Okay. All right, Lee. Here's here's where I get sad. Uh, Bulge Americans. We we have a single jumbo, uh, four easy eights, which. Don't have to be built as easy H. You can just build them as late Shermans. Uh, two Pershings, four Chafees, uh, three more Shermans that are supposed to be Calliopes, but you can just build them as more Shermans. Please don't build Calliopes. Calliopes are really bad. They're worse than Katushas. <laughs> Do not spend points on Calliopes. I'm sorry, I entered a fugue state for a second. Um, two Greyhounds and two Jeeps, which is just a Greyhound cavalry recon platoon. And one parachute rifle platoon. Oh, uh, Lee, I was... Up, just back up here, I'm pretty sure the Easy Eight only builds an Easy Eight. I don't think it builds a standard Sherman because all the tracks were wrong. Oh, God, the tracks are all wrong. Yeah. But it just builds an Easy Eight. I mean, uh, there's bits I like about this box and there's bits I don't like. Um, two, I think the, the two plastic M26 Pershings, either... Put three in or put one in. Two, two, two doesn't help anyone. Two, put one two in. is the absolute worst thing you yeah. can possibly do. Put one put in. Two it can be a super. In. It can be a super Pershing. Put three in. You got a a, a usable platoon of Pershings. Not that there's any usable platoon of Pershings. But two, no, is they're overpriced awful. Panthers. Yeah, two is just yeah. awful. You have got no way of upgrading it to a proper platoon. Let's end up no. with a super Pershing, an objective marker. <laughs> I, I will say. Uh, they do sell a world of tanks Pershing. They so do. if you really want three Pershings, you need to spend an extra ten dollars on top of this. That's no defense, but at least no. there is some way of getting a way to, out. <laughs> there is there is a flawed way out, but I'm still in the camp of just build one super Pershing and and never sp- and throw the other one away or sell it to somebody else as a super Pershing. Yeah. yeah uh, I mean, what you're getting up here is a HQ. It's basically an Easy Eight and a Jumbo, a platoon of three Easy Eights. A platoon of three M4 lates, because let's face it, you're not building them as, as, as Calliope's. Um, or you could build them as 105s for their, um, the, clo- the close support 105s, which are also a viable option. Um, a super Pershing, and again, there's no point by building the second Pershing. Four Chafees, they're in formation, aren't they, Chaffees? Uh, they, they should be, but I think at this point we are bouncing into uh, what is sharing slots with what. It's kind of a good thing because you're max, you're, you're hit, you're max out your formation if you're hitting that. But I think, and there's nothing wrong with the parachute rifle platoon. It's just not the optimum choice of infantry to pair up with the tanks because it's quite pricey. Um, you know, if you're going to go for a pricey infantry platoon, go with battle wary armored rifles, which aren't particularly pricey and have lots of machine guns, bazookas, and just sit on objective. Um, the recce choice, nothing wrong with that. That's always it's a good solid recce choice. 
I just wish they included a, an artillery unit for you to use with that recce choice. But the spearhead is always nice. Yeah. Well, the thing, if you if you built their um if you built those calliopes, not as calliopes, because they're late pattern Shermans, they can be built as Sherman one hundred fives. They can even be ranged in by the greyhounds. That that is true. Makes it uh, more viable. Or you build the calliopes still... if you really if you're really weird. <laughs> The, the fact that they only give you one jumbo when you really want to put as many jumbos in an American list as possible. Yeah. The fact that you get two Pershings for God knows what reason. Uh, I actually kind of like the Chafees. They're a little expensive for what they are, which is just a Stuart with a AT-10 gun on them. Yeah. But I think they're fun. Uh, the I, Greyhounds I like are good. The parachute rifle platoon, again, American pairs are so expensive because you are fearless, veteran, careful. You've got the boosted assault. Uh, these are the bold ones, so they have a boosted last stand, so they're even more expensive than than the D-Day version. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> more expensive parachutes, that's what we need. <laughs> Battlefront, uh, please, give me cheaper paratroopers. In fact, even in, mid- even in mid-war, they're still fearless veteran. And it's like, how, how are you a veteran? This is your literally your first combat drop. Um, <laughs> That's the power of intensive training, Lee. It's, well, unfortunately, British paratroops don't seem to have that intensive training, despite the fact it was probably, you know, that they went through commando stuff and everything. It's, I, I'm, I'm leaning towards this being a flawed choice. Because, like I say, the Persians count against it. The paratroops don't re- count against it massively but they are not the optimum choice and like I say lacking it, it needs more jump another jumbo at least one more jumbo and it they, needs at least one more jumbo uh, the, 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 the fact that they were like build a calliope the i don't did you buy this box lee i did buy this actually which box have i got it's turning around quickly i think i got the d-day box yeah, right. D-Day box. So yeah, that's what they, I got. They give you three regular Sherman sprues, and then in a little baggie, they give you all the resin bits to turn one of them into a calliope. <laughs> they put resin in a starter box, and that is a knock as far as I'm concerned. But I do mm-hmm. think flawed choice is probably around where you want to be, even though they had the audacity to say build calliopes, <laughs> and here are two Pershings. But at least, at least the, the the saving grace of the Calliope is it still gives you free late pattern Shermans. <laughs> right, right. It's a ballast to put inside it to get the kit, get the kit some weight. So. <laughs> right, and I and I can't say boost your existing collection with two Pershings. That's that's that no. would be disingenuous. It's, it's I think it's a flawed choice. Yeah. All right. Oh my God. <laughs> you were so close to greatness, Battlefront. You were so close to getting this box right. <laughs> All right, uh, moving back to our our, our uh, lovely Krauts. Uh, we mm-hmm. have the Bulge German box with the German Heavy Tank Hunter Kampf Group. So three plastic Jag Panthers, two Hornices, three Panzer IVs, two Ostwins, three Hummels, and two Pumas. And my godly, can we, like, are there any more high-end, low-armor, uh, anti-tank, Hunters that we can jam into this box, possibly. Don't forget, don't forget your Panzer Grenadier platoons in there as well. Yeah, the uh, there, there is half, in fact tracks. a Panzer Grenadier and and uh, two fifty one half tracks in there as well. Yes, it's out of all the things you could do, do for a Bulls German list. The, the thing from Nordwind was not the thing I would have chosen. <laughs> no, no, because the Bulls German book. This was the book that convinced me that I should actually be playing Germans because mm-hmm. like. The Panzer Brigades, where they're like, yeah, and you can just, like, here's your infantry formation. And you can just throw in a couple units of Panzer 470s. I'm like, yeah, that's great, because, like, here's the meat of the formation to mm-hmm. cover the Panzer 470s that want to hide in the back. Yeah. Uh, again, two Ostwins slash Whirlwinds. Ugh. Uh, three Jag Panthers. Um, at some point, Lee, I found myself with, like, over a dozen Panthers and still Panther Spruce. So I went, well, I'll build some Jag Panthers, because maybe I can have them. Why weren't they in D-Day? I can't tell you. They should have been in the D-Day book. But well, I mean, so yeah, because obviously this does Bowles Germans does cover Market Garden, which is the other major appearance of the Ag Panthers in the Western Front. But um, right, the problem the problem you got with I mean, back in version three, I intended to run this the the version three version of this list where you had the Ag Panthers and the Hornices. The problem you got is they just don't in. 
it's just such an unoptimized version of this because you're gonna have one H cube Yag Panther, a platoon of two Yag Panthers, not mm-hmm. great. A platoon, a platoon of, of two Hornices. Or you sacrifice the Hummels and build a platoon of four Hornices, which is probably a better way of doing this, because a kit does build Hummels and Hornices. You are correct. Um, and then you'd have two Oswins as as your like third your third platoon in that formation. That's not a great formation. <laughs> it's not a great formation. And and again, you can't be. I mean, you could go buy a box of the Panthers because the box builds Panthers and um, Yag Panthers. And that, you know, that flesh out the Yag Panthers to a between of three, have a between of four Panthers in support. Then you must have 100 points at that point. It's, it's right, a really it, odd box. And again, like, we're, we're kind of getting to the point where Pan, Panzer IVs are cheap enough to run. They still give you Pumas. Battlefront, please, just put a 250 <laughs> scout unit in. They're so much better. We like them That's so it. much more, please. It's put fine, the 259s in, please. Mm-hmm. It's, I mean, as a starter set, this is not a good starter set. As a collection booster, kind of good. But again, let down by two Oswins. Let down by two Oswins. Uh, pieces, but, there's no real I mean, like the thing that that is like kind of saving this is that you do have the option of building the Hornices and Hummels, vice versa. Yeah. Just uh, wanted one more Hornice, because then you could build a platoon of six Hummels, or you'd have right. platoon, or, the, or you'd have two Hornice platoons to help that formation out. Right. But the six. And of, if you want to be a real mad lad, you them. could build the Yag Panthers as Panthers, but that's not going to solve the problem, because no. then you just don't have enough tanks. You have a formation, yeah. Yeah, I, I do. It's just this I is mean, an existing collection booster, really. Like best. it's it's almost best. verging. On, it's almost verging on British starter box. It's so close to British starter box, but it is the the uh, the dual nature purpose of of these kits that save it from that. Because again, if if you don't want Yag Panthers for whatever reason, you can just build them as more regular Panthers. You you know, Hornices Hummels, they're interchangeable. That's pretty nice. Yeah. Um, a full platoon of infantry this time because the last time they only gave us a little, little five stand unit of infantry. Here we get the full seven with you know the two fifty ones. Mm-hmm. Get that in, our, in their. Um, do we have a four a four platoon? In one uh, we had it back the, in their. The eviler um, Germans had only five stands in that platoon. Um, that's a recce one, but didn't the back. I think you know the Bagration one does have a. The Bagration German a, a had had a, had a full platoon as well. Yeah. Right. The full shop team as well, yeah. But yeah, okay. Now, now onto the onto the British Bulge British starter set. Right, right. So well, let me let me go over comments, the list. It's comet you... thing. No, no. It's I'm just gonna stop you right there. It's got comets. Therefore, this is like buy free. You know, we can buy free category at the top. I mean, you can. There's no point buying free for the rest of the stuff. But it's the comets thing. You just want to buy the comets. <laughs> <laughs> right. So so this comes with four comets. Comets. Uh, Two Cromwells, three Chafees, four Challengers, a kangaroo rifle platoon with three Ram kangaroos, yep. uh, two Archers, and two Sextons. I hate this box so much. I just it just makes me cry. I am literally holding back tears at just how it's. This is one of those boxes. It's just fair to say. Look at all the new stuff. Look at all this new stuff we have. It's like because it's just no rhyme nor reason to anything in this box. It's just I mean, uh in in it starts I wrote an art- this is one of the, the, the ones I wrote an article on. This is the first one you wrote, I think, wasn't it? I'm pretty sure. No, the, the first, first one was was the was the D was D Day Americans. Your apologies, yep. Right. Uh this this was my my second one. Mm-hmm. Uh this was the first one you provided that I, I, I earned my my preview copy for. Yeah. But I was actually at, at at time of release. I was actually pretty high on this box because we didn't get an absolute trash formation to put it all in. Mm-hmm. But my big complaint was is that the comets and the challengers are so close to each other for what they do. They are, mm-hmm. you know, but you trade tra- a, a pip of front armor for a pip of anti tank. Like they are just so close to being on the table. Essentially, the same kit. Mm-hmm. I mean, the but comet, you comet. can't build them vice versa, if I'm not mistaken. You can't build challengers as as uh, comets, can you, Lee? So the, 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 so the comet, the Cromwell, and the challenger are three distinct kits. They don't build each because they're um, the challenger was a stretch Cromwell, right? The comet was a slightly wider, slightly stretch Crom, um, Cromwell chassis, so it's it's bigger in both both dimensions. 
the problem you've got is the comic is just better than the challenger in every conceivable fashion i mean yes you have an extra tank and that is kind of hands against the late panther but anti tank 14 is not shabby especially compared with anti tank 14 that's got he and smoke it's the best i'm gonna lay claim this is the best gun in the game is the 77, 77 millimeter high velocity because it has smoke and he and anti tank of a decent value you can buy that with tactical 12 chassis that as it would cross free Confident train, so it's nice and cheap without being letting it down self, itself down too much. Oh, and cautious. Um, I mean, also your form your formation here is basically a HQ of one comet with two CS tanks. Right. I I know some people don't some people don't like the CS tanks. I like the CS tanks. That smoke bombardment. That, you got you drop the smoke down and you sort of range in your HE and then repeat fire. Yes, you have to reroll hits because it's a two gun battery, which is annoying. But it's still useful. And if worst case, you can drive up and fire that brutal 95 millimeter into someone's face. I mean, my complaint with it is uh, it costs one one comet Expense. and two Cromwells is 19 points and two comets is just 14 points. Yeah. So instead of like dragging along, because here's the thing, the comets can't can't move and fire the smoke. They have to sit still. Mm -hmm. The range isn't fantastic on them. Um, they're useless for literally everything else. <laughs> like I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, direct fire AT8. No, thank you. Uh, they've got four dice of machine guns though, so that's a nice thing. That's it. Um, so Chaffee's also information. So that's that ends up being your second compulsory choice. The yes. problem is that is that's then that's your formation. That, that's your whole formation. And I'm also going to point out, I'm still not convinced Chaffee's and Comets were ever in the same battlefield at the same time. I know I've seen I've seen one reference that suggests they might have had chaffees. I think that's what they've latched onto to put them in. Um because normally I think the you know, only time I've ever seen chaffees mentioned in order of battle is with desert rats. And obviously they're they're Cromwells and fireflies. Right. Um it's so redundant and not bad. And like I say, four challenges as a support choice for another unit is great, but just not with comets, because comets are doing the same job better. Not only that, Lee, we're 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 forgetting about two two elephants in this room, which is you also get archers, which more are more 17 pounders more seventeen pounders. Yeah, I'm sorry, and I'm sorry. Two Don't sextons, Lee. Two. So the only thing to what you do with the two sextons, you take your three round kangaroos, you build two of them as sextons, and you build the four, the third ones around a Ram OP tank. So that, so you got your, so you get your four gun sextons too, because sextons are awesome. But right. um, the problem is. The Ram Kangaroos are also oh awesome. So if you're doing that, you're probably off with the Ram Kangaroos, which I had a great so, so the solution time. is buy a box of Ram Kangaroos so you can fix the build sextons, yeah, build so. an OP, and then. But still, it's oh my godly. I, I, I when when this when I was so looking forward to the comet starter set. Many I didn't really need it. I had enough comets, but even before then, because I've been, I've been every time a comet box appeared on eBay, I swiped it and and was right, right. Like but a, they're new in plastic now, so you had to get the new ones. No, well, I, thankfully, version three had plastic, so they were they were oh, always oh, plastic. Right. Yeah, but so I I had a, I had a whole squadron before this box came out. Um, literally a squadron. I had the whole sixteen comets. Um. It's, but it, as a starter set, again, it's just, you end up with a really brutal formation and just so many redundant units. It's it is it's an not, incredibly it, redundant box. It's not even a good way of building building onto your collection because you got all these weird little units that don't do anything. You can't buy another two sexton, um, another two sextons, another two archers. I think there um the sexton box is four of them, and it's yes, it builds yes. all three things. Right, right. Uh, you can buy individual archers from the world of tanks game but that's 20 yeah. us dollars for two more archers which i'm still I'm not convinced that it's better than than manned a toad 17 pounders it's uh well, for the way the wing go for the way the game works so either i'm going to go the whole hog and get m10c's or you stick with the toad the toad guns the archer is just this weird gray area of not really much more mobile, not really much more armoured to stop the um, plunging fire or anything. It's, yeah, I think this is definitely on the British starter set line, unfortunately. <laughs> I, I, I don't I, want to I say because the comets are in there, but unfortunately. I, I, I was going to let you make the impassioned plea of 
you know, I, I already made you put the Cromwells in the dumpster. But if you're if you're just going to admit that, like, uh, the so, the it's so bad, even the comments don't defend it. I'm sorry. Right. There, there's a reason <laughs> that this this is uh, the this chair is called the British starter boxes. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Uh, all right. So. We're, 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 we're getting there. So mm-hmm. next up, we're moving into the final set of books, the Berlin books, and yeah. we've got uh, the Soviets first. So we get a. Uh, small rifle company, four M4 Sherman tanks, three T-70s, three ZSU M17 AAA guns, two SU-100s, and free, two sorry, Katushas. I thought it was three SU-100s. It is three. Did, did yeah. I, did, I'm sorry. I, it, there are, in fact, three of them. I did not mean so, to right. say. For, no, for notes you sent me, all right, they do say three. I think you just misread it. But, yeah. Yeah. So this is obviously like a... a a forward a forward detachment basically i think is what this uh, yes is. this is in fact the m4 forward detachment h um infantry hq compulsory choice infantry compulsory choice m4s compulsory secondary choice t70s secondary choice m17s and then two support units for assault guns and katushas right um if i'm not mistaken uh no the the zsus are not in formation or, uh, sorry, the SU-76s are not in formation. Uh, I'm a fan of, of, of the ZSUs. You don't see a lot of aircraft, but anything with a bunch of 50 cows to shoot armored cars and infantry mm-hmm. up is always uh, aces in my book. Yeah. Uh, the, the T-70s fulfill a purpose of also fighting armored cars. Yeah, I prefer, there's I prefer, a lot of armored cars, so having more is good. But Valentine, so over T-70s, but yeah. Right. Uh, well, I mean, Valentine's cost a lot more points than T. It's 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 a mm. single point of T seventy. Is it? It's, it's, oh wow. Yes. Uh, the T seventies are a single point per. Uh, it's a real shame they didn't put uh, just just a little just just. I I just the the infantry formation like you want to be aggressive. I prefer having my HQ be a tank because it moves better. Uh, yeah, I can see that. I, I like I like having infantry HQ because it gives you a, a HQ that's very hard to kill and can, like, say, it can motivate the infantry, keep the infantry moving forward, to help them to clear off objectives and stuff like that. Um, I think it comes down. To, I think it's a, I don't think it's a wrong choice. Yeah, I think it comes down to play style. Which which one you're sort of preferring as being your lead unit, as it were? Uh, you know what? I I just uh, double checked is that the SU seventy sixes are in formation for the regular. They're not in formation for the hero version of the formation. Oh, which really? is interesting. But, but they are in the forward detachment. They are in the forward detachment. They are in the regular M4 Sherman forward detachment. So those SU 76s are in formation. That's a, that's a big plus. Yeah. I like the SU 76. I mean, it's a decent artillery piece. As a, you know, it's firepower four on the bombardment, which is handy. And it works. It, oh, look, it, it actually works quite well as a last ditch ambush gun as well. If you, if you put an ambush, it's rate of fire to make tank nine to side armor. Most things is going to hurt. Yeah, you have the into. option of uh, building them as regular and hero in this formation, so you can get the the better skill rating to make your bombardments a little easier. Yeah. Or you can get a lot more guns with, with uh, you know, another purchase, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, I would have been a little happier with some more tanks, but the SU-100s do give you your, your real high-end punch. You can build the Shermans as 76s mm-hmm. because you're Soviets. You don't get stabilizers. You don't get smoke canisters. Why would you ever build them as 75s? Yeah, seven hundred is a tricky one. They, they get they get a very high anti tank, but rate of fire one is always a kiss of death for most things. But like rate saying, fire one and slow moving, mm. and slow but, firing. Excuse me. Yeah, but you don't get many, you don't get much more high end in the for, in the Soviet force than them. So it's they just about make a niche for themselves. They're just very tricky to use. You almost have to use them either as a long range tank sniper or as an ambush unit. Right. So I generally I think, with ambush units I favor high rate of fire and decent AT than high end AT. I think I see it's a good box apart from the two Katushas, which are just such a dead end. I was redundant with the C seventy sixes. Right, but if you've ever been suckered into any of the other boxes, now you already have two. Well, that's true. You, you, maybe maybe with the buy two, we should allow for combining this with one of the other boxes. <laughs> so good. No, I, I refuse to do that. Uh, I want to say it's a solid starter, but it might have to go into the floor choice just because of Katusha's, but the 
Sue and Hunt just not being super great. So I, I, I'm kind of leaning towards like the bottom of solid starter because mm-hmm. uh, I it's don't think running four line. Katushas is worth it anyway. I don't think yeah. running Katushas is ever a good thing. They're they're bad units. I'm sorry. I love my little uh, right. Ford pickup trucks with rockets on them. I really do. But they're just not goodly. But I'm going to make a case for them. I'm going I'm to make the case. I think with Berlin Germans coming out, and people already starting to look at this idea of taking uh, the Volksturm formation card. So you have this big, um, almost have no reserves by having a whole formation of Vol- Volksturm on instead of stuff like that. At that point, the Katusha then, for being a big pie plate that can take out lots of these, you know, easily hit troops kind of thing. I think the Katusha might then start justifying it still. I but still four, think not, four of them, not two. <laughs> Right, right, right. But I, I just like you're a Soviet player. You want to be playing extremely aggressively, and the six yourself, inches yeah. friendly fire no go zone makes them incredibly difficult to use. You get like a couple turns out of them at best. Yeah, what a turn! <laughs> what, what, what a turn! I mean, you know what? With with, with um that many uh, fearless school children to hit in artillery barrages, you know maybe there is a case for Katusha's though. Yeah, I, I get what you're saying, though, and it's a very niche case. And it's, I think it's good, the proof will be in the pudding on that, whether I am right, that's how it turns out. But but yeah, I think we could agree. It's just, it's a solid starter. It's, it's just on that line between floor choice and solid starter, but it is fair. And it gives the Soviets their first solid choice as well. It does give you a Soviet starter box that is worth running. It's a real shame that it has no T-34s uh, in it. <laughs> yeah. It has no well, T-34s. Well, it's, it's that problem version. For, well, not the previous versions were much better, but so, Flames of War Soviets always had. The lens of these tanks always seem to work out better than the indigenous tanks. It's, there's no, I mean, and it's not the T-34 is a bad tank. Look at stats. It's it's a solid tank. Right, it's right. Just point, and it's just more point sufficient to have the Sherman. <laughs> I I don't know because I think with with the the added bonus of like these are still front armor six Shermans you do not get the front armor seven Shermans as a Soviet player. Do you, not, you don't are, get the are you sure that I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure the front armor seven. I, I there's no stabilizer, but it's front they are front armor seven because they are late pattern Shermans. They are late pattern Shermans. Why are they late pattern Shermans? Well, because that's what they they, they basically they uh, any person who really any people who really use late pattern Sherman freeze were the Soviets. In mid war, they had early pat the early pattern Sherman freeze, the diesel powered, um, welded toll. But yeah, in the last, I, I still I still rate the T thirty four eighty five higher than a Sherman seventy six with yeah. no stabilizers. That twelve inch so the twelve inch tactical makes a big difference. At that point. right, right, we have finally found a Lendley's tank that is less efficient than the home built Soviet tank. Thank you, Shermans, for sacrificing everything that makes you good for this. <laughs> Uh, but moving on to the last of these uh, traditional starters, we have mm-hmm. the uh, the newly released Berlin uh, Tank Training Company. So we get three Panthers, three Panzer IVs, three Hetzers, three Panzer IIs, three Wesps, and a Panzer Grenadier Platoon. <laughs> it's just... I have I have looked over this this box so many times because I tried writing this article, Lee, but I just don't know what to do with this stuff. I so it's just a big old box of tanks. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's, a real, it's a real tricky one because I don't like the tank chain company. I, I might play them for fun, but I just it's just the point saving you get for those worst stats in terms of it's because I think they're like um, the green aggressive um they are definitely green and aggressive i want to say that they're confident i might I think be wrong confident. about that yeah i think they're, I think they're, I think they're reluctant i think they are confident uh, but you do get the benefit of the old hands rule yeah for whatever so you, that's worth so you make your pamphlets to hq definitely when your h when your h when they they if they're um the old hands means they can people can use their skill for the orders which makes the storm troop owners worth it um I think the problem is, I guess it's just like say you're getting the for saving. I mean, that is at least a solid formation for the tank train company. I'd like say Panther HQ, um, the Panzers, Hetzers, and Panzer twos are all in formation, if I call correctly. Uh, yes. You're in putting two SS Tigers because you know those things are just horrendous. 
even if you lose one, they will not run away. I don't say that. My, I, 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 if they were reluctant, they wouldn't run away because they're fearless. Right. Mine, fearless two plus. Mine get the one as soon as I can. Right. Uh, you, uh, you get to put regular Panzergrens into this formation. So the only thing that's not in formation are um, the Wesps and the Tigers and the Tiger Twos. Yeah. But obviously, you never want to run bad. You never want to run anything that is not um, two plus rated morale Tiger Twos. Mm-hmm. And I will stand by this. I, 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 I do want to try and play around with the heavy ta- the heavy tank chain company. We get the, the other tigers, but yeah. Um, uh, I have double checked. These guys are confident. Yeah. And if you have it's... protected ammo, then you do get the three up remount in the case of the uh, the Panzers. Yeah. You got no awkward units in this. I mean, everything everything to be built on was the right size anyway. The, there is one awkward point about all this is with whichever you pick as your HQ, mm-hmm. you can only use two of those tanks. Oh really? I wonder I got three of them then. Uh, because if you run them as anything in the formation, oh, you got choice of which ones you want to yeah put in. Okay, right, so exactly. which, which ones you want to want to do that, or you That's can be cool incredibly weird and and you can mix and match your HQs in this one. So you can do a Panther and a Stug, or a Panther and a Hetzer, or a Panzer Four and a Stug mm-hmm. if you're an absolute mad lad. Yeah. Okay. Um. Still, I'll probably still put two Panthers as the HQ and have them as the actual benefit from the skill boost. Well, yes, you want your HQ tanks to live. It's just the only downside is you don't get a third Panther yeah. then. You you wind up with this nebulous extra Panther. Yeah. But, you know, if, if you bought the if you bought the Yag Panthers and you can build those as regular Panthers, and then you have enough real Panthers. So we get that to uh, buy two, but you have to buy two different ones, yes. <laughs> right, uh, right. It's... it's I, I, as a veteran player, this is almost a solid starter. For, if you if you're a veteran player who didn't play Germans ever, this would be actually a, a decent solid start. You probably know you probably work out how to use the tank train company. Right. If you're completely fresh to the game, the tank train company is not the place to start. I'd say. I think it's it's a flawed choice. Uh, oh, it's, it's so it's so close. It's so close to it, being a solid it is starter. It's so close to just being it's a just solid that tank, starter. It's just that tank train company is just going to be so tricky for a new player to use. You have fun. You'll have fun doing it. I think you'll have fun doing it. That's why I'm almost, I'm almost trying to talk myself into it being a solid start, a solid starter. But I, I think just the awkwardness of you will always end up leaving a tank out of the box. Yeah, is is kind of the knock against this because you you spent you know a hundred plus dollars, you know seven billion pounds. I don't understand how currency exchange works. <laughs> Well, wait, wait, uh, wait, 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 it's going right now. We, we are sort of say getting back up. It's not as bad as it was, you know, last year when that probably would be a fair exchange rate with a dollar. But uh. <laughs> right. Um. So I, I think like this is either top of flawed choice or bottom of solid starter. Yeah, I'm going towards it being a flawed choice, but it's it's so it's it's so close. Uh, I I think I think if you've got this as a new player and could. Roll with the fact you're gonna lose tanks like you're gonna hemorrhage tanks in the game. You still have fun with it. That's why I it's why I lean to it to being on the solid starter side of the line. But it's yeah, you got you, you have to have the right temperament for it, I think. <laughs> I mean, I think the fact that like almost all of this goes into formation is also a big plus to it. So you actually do get a formation that doesn't immediately disintegrate. Yep. By stake of losing a single platoon, it still immediately disintegrates because, well, look at the tanks inside. But I'll I'll, I'll give it solid starter. I'll yeah. give it bottom of solid starter. Because, you know, it has a two-tank platoon in it, but it's the only two-tank platoon in the game that's actually viable. I, I... Th- that is true. Um, I'm going to go slightly out of order on the notes here because we do have one more uh, single-faction box to look at before we get into <laughs> the hit the beast and the things. Lee... Where do you? I'm just gonna go ahead and put this out here, and I'm I'm just gonna let you talk me down from this ledge. Mm-hmm. Where, where do we put the T34s? You obviously, buy two. You need 42 T34s. Everyone needs <laughs> needs as many T34s. Okay, playing, okay. Playing, playing fate of a nation, yes. So the Egyptian yeah, yes. <laughs> so for those who aren't familiar with this box, Battlefront literally releases a big box that is. 21 t-34s mm-hmm. you can build them as 76s you can build them as 85s they're a wonderfully versatile kit you get two choices and all the t-34s you can shake a stick at yeah 
Uh, so when when the first, when the T thirty four plastic kit first came out back in version three, they actually did this as an online special deal you could get where you got um four bo- you got four boxes of T thirty four no five boxes of T thirty fours and then a single sprue for the HQ. I'm glad if if they finally packaged it as a box you can buy. I mean, everything counts in large amounts, right? It's uh, <laughs> quantity is a quality all of its own, Lee. Can, is it actually possible to field 21 T-34s and be in points these days? I think it probably is in late war, isn't it, with the non-heroes? Oh. I'm pretty sure I worked oh, this out at the time. Most likely. Let, let, me, let me double check real fast. Uh, but I'm pretty sure if you go with non-hero T-34s, you could absolutely uh i'm i'm going to be i'm going to be brave and i'm going to look at the the 85s uh so 10 t3485 regulars are 43 points for 10 it's 5 points for the single stat so 86 91 and you have 9 points left over to buy ba64 scout cars yep it's the perfect formation lee or, maybe it's or, not buy two okay you know that that is a lot of tanks uh, i'll put it down to solid starter for right now you, so I think it's a solid starter if you really like T fight fours and really like Soviets. That's a solid starter. Um, I think so, uh, cause I, if I think if you go for the um uh, the bag Russian one, we where the the non hero ones were basically a half and half for seventy sixes and eighty fives, and use the seventy sixes as your blade of armor to protect the eighty fives. Um, you probably got enough points then to get like a decent artillery choice in like the C seventy sixes or some seventy six millimeter guns. An SMG company to ride in the back of them. You could definitely make an army out of this. I mean, you wouldn't go to a, you know, it wouldn't be something you do as a competitive player, but some, be it, as a club night game or a theme, you know, proper playing proper theme campaign, it's viable, I think. If, Lots if of T-34s. you are doing the Siege of Stalingrad and you have Tankograd literally just pumping out T-34s onto the field mid-game, then this works. However, yeah. Lee, you said, like, oh, if we split them half and half, let me remind you of a little little fun fact of the, the T-34 battalions and companies. Uh, so 10 T-3485s is 43 points. Mm-hmm. 10 T-3476s is 30 points. Now, you can upgrade up to half of those 76s to 85s for two points each. Right. So. Which is so a workout. Yes, if, I got if, if I upgrade half of them to 85s, mm-hmm. then for 40 points, I get five seventy sixes and five 85s, where for three more points, I can just have all 85s. And the math does not work out. It's, it's definitely some style maths going on there. One forty-one and a half and a half chance or something like that. Yes. Yes. Yeah, a... Shout out to Mike Everest. <laughs> Where are your furry Italian mountain pigs? I demand to see them. Yeah, he has. He has got the pigs now. So the green stuff phase is just awaiting. <laughs> I was actually arguing. What you need to do is is, is your Kurtman PVA and old school style flock, and that gives you the furry look. Uh, well, so I, I think that in, 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 in jokes aside, this is either flawed choice or existing collection booster mm-hmm. because I think... you get nothing but T-34s. And that is hilarious. I love this box. I But I'm starter. a madman. As a, sta- it's, as a as starter. A, as a it's, starter. It's, as a starter. Yeah. Oh, I, I think I, it was a, maybe, uh, yeah, pretty existing collection. I think you have to know how to how to play soviets to get the most out of this box that's for sure yes it, it's just like look don't get me wrong if 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 i wasn't impatient and i just didn't buy a, a bunch of the the uh fortress europe mm-hmm. soviet starters because i bought two of these boxes i bought another box of t-34s i built it all up i was in the process of painting and priming it and then they announced this box of 21 <laughs> t-34s i'm like i would have just bought that box i don't want katushas i don't want su 85s i don't want t-70s i just want t-34s because again i'm a madman don't don't follow me kids i'm a bad influence <laughs> But as as a starter, like I just cannot recommend any new player who's like, I want to play Soviets. I'm like, do not just buy a bunch of T-34s. You are just right. going to be in for a heartbreak. Play Team Yankee and play T-55s if that's what you really want. Mm-hmm. Do not buy a bunch of T-34s for Flames of War. Yeah, T-55s will work. T-34s less so, but yes. Um, okay, uh, so I think we're after we're just covering the two player starters now, isn't it? Yes, we we have some two player starters left. Uh, so we, in... we've got the classic hit the beach. Mm-hmm. So we have uh, f- five uh, – well, they recommend you build it as, as five 75 mil Shermans, three um, 76 mil Shermans. Yeah, because yeah, you, you only get three upgrade sprues and make the 76s. You don't get enough to make 
eight 76s. That's a right. But if you there. really want, you can build them all at 75s if you're insane. Oh, yeah. Um, and for mid war, it works. For mid, if you're doing mid war British or mid war Americans, that just work for that. Yeah. Right. Uh, you, you get a you get a parachute rifle platoon mm -hmm. for the Americans. Uh, for the Germans, you get a, a Panzer Grenadier uh, company. Basically, you get an HQ. You get two platoons. You get three Panzer fours, and you get two uh, Pack forties. Yep. So I've said it before, and I'll say it again: hit the beach is definitely a buy two. If you want to do American, if, you know, it's just it's a it gets you. A big American tank company it gets you a, a decent start to an American parachute company. Then it gives you a pretty much a full strength German Panzer Grenadier company backed up with four pack forties and six Panzer fours. Um, I mean one box is a good start. One box and then you throw bits onto it is great. But I've always said the best the best thing to buy to back up a hit the beach is another hit the beach. It's another hit the beach, yes. Especially when at the original price they came out at. They got yes, they go up slightly. It's, it's slightly it's slightly tricky now. It's now the prices go up. The price point almost starts leaning towards buying just what the American start. You know, just knowing which one you want to go with and buying the starter. But if you're buying this to a friend, and you both buy it and then swap the bits over. That also still works. Right. Uh, the the best thing you can you can buy is is you know it's a great addition to the American box. It's a, it's mm -hmm. it it fixes a lot of problems of a lot of these German boxes. Yeah. Uh, hit the beach i i do just put at the highest tier of of buy two of these it even if, if the math still is. with inflation is is a little rough uh so we we have the new two-player starter for this uh we have clash of steel so the germans get uh three panther lates two panzer 470s a singular jag tiger and a panzer grenadier platoon and then for the soviets you get four t-34s Two IS twos, two ISU one twenty twos, three BA sixty four scout cars, and a Guards Hero Motor Rifle Company, which sounds small, but is actually still like thirteen stands. Yeah. It's 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 a comical amount of infantry. Mm -hmm. See, compared to hit the beach, I think the biggest problem with this is you don't get a viable formation for either force out of just one box. Um. Pairing it up still works. Because obviously, I think it still it still works out as a buy two. Um, but it's a trickier one. It's not it's not the instant sell hit the beach was. It's it's a good way of uh, boosting the sitting collection. I'm buying one because I need some more Panthers and I need some more Panzer four seventies, and a single Jag Tiger is just gravy at that point. Right, right. Everyone should have a single Jag Tiger. Never more than one. Only one more Jag one. Tiger <laughs> ever. One. Uh, you know the Panzer Grens are always useful evergreen panzer grenadiers yeah uh it's a shame they come with no uh transports always mechanize your infantry kids <laughs> but like four t-34s two is2s two isu-122s like uh i guess if you buy two of them then then that fixes a lot of problems with that but also yeah. like what is that formation it's a, it's a really yeah, it's just awkward it's just didn't really do anything on the soviet side um you buy two of them, you at least get a Hero T-34 tank company. Then the infantry is wrong to be. You want SMG infantry rather than... Than motor rifle. Yeah. I mean, you could you could build a T-34 Ford attachment because you could use the HQ, two infantry. They got too much infantry at that point, really. Um, but you would get the T-34s, two platoons of T-34s in. Four, you'd have four IS-2s, which is quite handy. Four ISU-122, 152s, which is, again, handy. Um, six BA-64 scout cars. You can run five of them and then run an OP. OP. you got no artillery. Buy some arti well, no, the, the 122s, 152s are artillery. They don't, trigger the arti they don't trigger the thing and get an OP, though, I don't think. Uh, of course they don't. No, you'd, have uh, to, you'd, have to pay, you'd have to get some C-76s or some, you no know, one of the actual um, artillery pieces. Or just... just Go to your friendly local game store, find Soviet players, and say, "Hey, does anyone have katushas?" And they'll just start throwing katushas at you. Katushas are free. No one wants them. Are free, yeah. So I think if you go buy this, you're either buying it as this in collection booster, or you're buying two. That's where I'm going with this one. It's kind, of, it's kind of, it's kind of an odd one. This. I, I think we kind of, kind of split this here, and we we stick it at at flawed choice. Yes, yeah, bit of difference, yeah. 
I, I have I have got one order. I'm just I'm actually got some bit. I wouldn't like say. Oh, I, I own one of these boxes, but that was because I was like I could use a I I could use two more Panzer 470s, mm. and I built those Panthers as Yag Panthers because I had enough regular Panthers, and like yeah. I I 100% boosted my existing collection with this box. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But also well, like buying two is good. Mm -hmm. Boosting your collection is good. Uh, I definitely can't put this in solid starter. No. So I, I think like we just say that it, it is a flawed choice in, on its own, but is easily fixable. Yeah. It's a bit, like I said, it's a bit different. Okay. All right, and then we have we have one last box, uh, because I I feel bad just leaving the British alone in their own little special boy box at the bottom here. Uh, we have the Fury box. <laughs> Fury box. Uh, I mean, yeah. You buy two of these, it fixes the M10 problem we, we, uh, from earlier, that's for sure. <laughs> right, it unfortunately creates a whole lot of other problems, because for those who don't know, the Fury box consists of literally five tanks. Uh, you get a single Stug, you get a single Tiger one, you get a Sherman 75, a Sherman 76, and a single M10 tank destroyer. And there is nowhere. I don't know how you take these things and go. This is a perfectly balanced thing. Like I don't understand how the Germans don't win every single time. Mm -hmm. uh, because the Germans or the Americans, even with the 76s and the M10, will have an incredibly hard time killing the Tiger. And yeah. the Stug can kill all of them back. Like <laughs> it is. It's it's just a weird one. Um, I know I said we weren't going to put these small ones in, but again, I, I, I feel bad making you put your, your Cromwells, your Comets, and your Challengers <laughs> all in the dumpster. So I'm like, here, here is a friend for them. Uh, Here's your should, Consolation Teddy Bear Lee. A Challenger belongs in the dumpster. The other two, other two need, need a reprieve, but yeah. It's a... Okay, so um, there you go. There you round up. So we have two by twos with the Hit the Beach and the... Um... Oh, do, do we want to order these in in listly or do you want to just call this good enough i think we call this good enough so we got the americans okay. american da starter and hit the beaches by two um we have the british fortress europe box hungarian box soviet which one's that that's uh, a soviet um yeah that's Berlin. Berlin soviets yep the tiny little fix is a really and the german and the german tank train company is solid starters right we have the we have the well we have the bad bad Germans. <laughs> the German. We have the two D-Day German boxes in flawed choices. Along we have the, the Bulge Americans in flawed choice. We have Clash of Steel in flawed choice. Mm -hmm. uh, in existing collection boosters, we have all the other Soviets and the other Germans. Mm -hmm. And then down in their own little special boy zone is everything Br everything Lee loves and the Fury Starter. Which I don't love. <laughs> <laughs> Which you don't love. <laughs> oh dear, well, there you go. I mean, I, I, I was trying to make a, as be, best a case as I could for the British star box, but um, yeah, of, of, other than for the first one, it, it went downhill from there, really. <laughs> it It is a little fun that we were like, but there is an exception to this, and we hit it immediately, and everyone knew where the other ones were going. Yep, there was... There was again, there... like... The the comments break my heart because I wanted to like that box so much when it first came out, but like seeing it in practice, it did not it did not live up to my high hopes for it. No, I think it just it just suffered from obviously Battlefront one to get the new stuff out there. Um, the problem you do because there's so much new stuff for the British box and you try and put it all in one box, it just doesn't work. Um, it doesn't work historically. It doesn't work as a list. It just just doesn't it, it work. suffers <laughs> all the fatal sins of a battlefront starter box where you have like weird pairs of stuff that you cannot upgrade mm -hmm. into full sizes you've got too much of a single thing it's it's just it it the formation is extremely brittle of itself yeah. like bizarrely bizarrely though it ticks all the boxes for like um what you should have an army armor infantry artillery recce it has all of that, but just in the worst possible ways. <laughs> it looked great on paper, and then it kind of failed in execution. Yeah. But I applaud you for trying really hard, Battlefront. Please keep trying to make good British starter boxes for all our sakes, please. I feel bad for my friends who play British. <laughs> I mean, we, we, we end up getting the best tanks, so it's, it's all fine. It's... <laughs>
I mean, yeah, they, if, if you let the, the competitive players design it, then it would be British recce, recce boxes with like Avery's and M10. So like I, I, I again, just applaud Battlefront for trying to make British players play real formations mm-hmm. and not recce companies with a bunch of support. Oh man, that's a that's probably the main reason why why the plastic armor car um, came out was to support doing that. But uh, but yeah, so that's hopefully rounds up for everyone. Um, if you're new to Flames War, hope to give you some some ideas. If you're not, then maybe it gives you some ideas on what to do for building. Um, probably we'll try and do another one. I don't know when we'll do the next one. Maybe next next couple of weeks. Maybe next month. But certainly next we're going to look at the mid war boxes, aren't we? Yes, and then, and then at, uh, after that, hopefully Team we grab that with Team Yankee. Yeah, I'm hoping by uh, but, by the time we do Team Yankee, but some of the newer boxes will be out, and we can actually go over those. And yeah, yeah, and you know what? Uh, if you are upset, just remember uh, you can send all complaints to Duncan at Duncan <laughs> at BreakthroughAssault.co.uk. Yep. Remember to, ask, to ask, tell him how much he loves swim wagons. Yep. Which box swim wagons in Duncan? It's uh, a. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, yeah, he'll love that. It'd be great. Uh, <laughs> I don't so, even know if that's his email for the site or not. So, uh, bizarrely, I don't think Duncan. I think and Eddie, Eddie, because he's one of the old older guys, has has to have a break for us all email. Um, oh Duncan, great! Well then, send them to Eddie. Duncan, Duncan, has, Eddie Duncan has a shoot scoot at gmail dot com one. So yeah, so send the, send the one we keep mentioning on the podcast. Um, yeah. <laughs> So thanks very much for joining us. Uh, as always, you can be here at My Dulcet Tones on the podcast. And hopefully this won't be the last we hear from Mike. We'll look at another night and day in the near future. Um, as always, guys, uh, leave comments below. We'll like, get some feedback on this. Do you like it? Anything you want to see us improve? Um, like and subscribe because people save that on these videos. I don't know why. We don't get any money from it. Smash that like button. You smash that like button right now. Smash the like button because it helps my ego. Um, the subscribe button, yeah. If you, you know, you'll get more of our content that way, which is both a double edged sword at the best of times. Um, but obviously, head over to the Patreon for the shooting script Patreon and throw some money because we do like that. It helps us buy new stuff and new toy soldiers. Um, so yeah, thanks for joining me, Mike. I appreciate you um, waking up in the morning after your horrifying night shift and i'm gonna go have a nice hot hot cup of cocoa and go to bed and enjoy a night's sleep um thanks everyone see you later bye And um, we are agreeing that, like, you're, like, from the hills in Los Angeles. And I, you know, good afternoon. Exactly that, yeah. Right. Yeah. So I'll, I'll do, I'll do, I'll do uh, yeah, good evening. You do a good morning or whatever it right. is. And, yeah. Okay. And. Hello. Let me get my, nope. let me get my <laughs> face scratches in real quick. All right. All right. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs>